Hello everybody, it's Rosie and this video um, is about what I'm going to be doing with my small group this Sunday. Um, our um, our um, sermons in our church at Centennial Road Church um, are about spiritual disciplines and last Sunday the uh, our pastor um, preached about prayer. So um, for our small group, this video is uh, just to give them an idea of what I'm going to be working on uh, when we meet together. So, uh, and I also have opportunities whenever the technology works for people to join us online. So with that, this is what this video is for, but it's still for anybody if you're looking for ideas on how to do some uh, Bible art journaling or faith journaling. Now I'm going to be using this. This is a, I'm going to show you here a sec. So this is a something I picked up at Michael's. It's a mixed media uh, book and the papers for acrylic watercolor pen and pencil. So I'm going to be using this because this is also a faith journal or an art journal or a faith art journal. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do uh, to, to focus on this theme of prayer is um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, and you can see here, I've taken some masking tape because I just love the framing effect. When I'm done everything, I pull that masking tape off and it's really cool. So what I've done is I placed some masking tape. First, I kind of uh, got it all linty so that when I lift it up, it shouldn't tear my paper. So I just kind of like um, put it across my clothing and picked up lint in that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water. I'm going to do wet on wet. And I'm just going to put lots of water on my paper. And um, then I'm going to apply lots of watercolor. I'm not going to do it now because this is for this Sunday for my small group. But I'll post a video of the finished um, journal entry. And these are just my, my uh, inexpensive watercolors from Michaels. The only uh, complaint I have about them is that they're chalky and you have to kind of um, wipe away the excess. So I'm going to put lots of watercolor, get it really wet, and then I'm going to try um, and use some alcohol. Um, so this is, hold on a second here. So this is 91% uh, alcohol. And I've been looking at really uh, unique ways of using uh, watercolor and alcohol. So after I lay it down, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to place some alcohol on them. Now this is all dried, so I don't think you can get the same effect, but the, I was just practicing on this paper and I think, I think you need to use watercolor paper for it to really, really take effect. So let me see here. No, I don't know if you can see. It just, it did give some little unique um, um, markings there with the, with the alcohol. Um, and the same, and oops, sorry, and the same thing a little bit here. The, the problem with this watercolor, um, inexpensive watercolor, is it's very chalky. See, and now I'm just going over and you can, you can tell. Very, very chalky. So I need to invest in a good watercolor set. It's great for beginners. Um, and you can just wipe it off and <sighs> apply more layers if you need to. But so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can make some sort of cool effect with the with the alcohol. These little bottles spray a lot at once, so that's why I'm going to just try it with just uh, taking this off, like I had showed you earlier. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I am going to let it dry. And then what I'm going to do is I, I want a person um, like a like uh, an outline of a person um, who is worshiping God because prayer to me is abiding and worshiping God. It's a connection with Him. It's having a conversation with Him, and that that's that's what it means to me. It's not just about presenting my petitions to Him. It's communicating with him. It's abiding in his presence. Um, it's thinking about him and spending time with him in his word. And that, that's what prayer is about for me. So what I've done is with 
the Canva program is I developed a printable here. So there's a worshiping um, girl and a worshiping guy. And then I took my Cricut and I cut them out with my Cricut. So I'm, I, so I made kind of like a stencil and then I have these cutouts. So I'm either good. I'm not too sure. And I'm not too, sh I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to either, um, take some black ink and fill it all in, or I might just outline her and then paint her in with black um, uh, with a black Posca pen. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, you don't have to do those things. Um, you can actually just, I can actually just cut this out and just glue, glue her on or glue him on. I can do that. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if um, after it's dry, even with the alcohol, because um, it does dissipate, if that'll um, be a challenge laying any more type of ink down on the paper. We'll find out when I do that. Um, so yeah, so this printable is available in my Facebook group. So if you want it, you get to join my Facebook group and you have to answer the questions in order to get into my Facebook group or else you won't get into my Facebook group. So I do need you to answer those questions. <clears throat> and then I developed another printable with Canva. And so um, anybody in my group can use these for their Bible art journaling. If you're using um, um, a, a, mar a Bible with a margin in it, you could shrink these down, I guess. Or you just use it in your faith, uh, faith journal. You don't need to have one of these books to do a faith journal. You can use a composition book like this. I don't know what watercolor paint and the alcohol will do. I didn't find it was all that great of effect. I really think you need the proper paper to do it. I'm not sure. Anyway, so then when I'm done that, when I've got my worshiping person down, um, I, 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 uh, was taking a look at some quotes from Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence, there's a book, uh, written, um, I think it was by Brother Lawrence, but anyway, it's called Practicing the Presence of God. And, uh, there's some nice quotes in there. And I think what I'll do is I'll write a quote about prayer because that's what he did. And everything that he did, Brother Lawrence, he thought about God and he did everything for God. And uh, then when I lift this up, I think I might just in the margins, um, write a Bible verse, I'm not sure. So for my small group, uh, I've asked them to go on Google and Google scripture about prayer and pick out a couple of uh, scriptures uh, that they felt spoke to them about prayer. And we're going to uh, talk about that and share about that when we get together this Sunday. So, and the reason why I'm doing that, it just gets, it gets you into your Bible, first of all, and it shows you the connection throughout the whole Old and New Testament about that particular word, prayer. Um, and it gets you reading the Bible. So it's, it's a lot, it's really cool just going on Google and, and Googling, well, scriptures about joy, scriptures about anger. Scriptures about love, scriptures about parenting, scriptures about whatever it is, you know. Um, but it's just making those connections throughout the Old and New Testament when you do a word study. It's almost like doing a word study. Very simple, though, just finding those scriptures. So I encourage you to do that or anybody, anybody who's watching this video. So um, when I'm done this next Sunday, this Sunday coming up, I'll, uh, I'll do a little video and I'll show you how it worked. So yeah, so these two printables are on my Facebook page in the files. They will be there and for you to use, uh, not to sell. I really should have something here for personal use only, but I never did get around to doing that. And yeah, and that's about it. So we'll see how this works. Uh, oh, and I'll probably just use my white. Well, it depends on what colors I use. 
I'll either use my black or white Posca pen uh, to do my quote and uh, maybe, maybe perhaps the scripture here or I'll just use a um, um, another pen of some sort. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do for this Sunday, guys. If you want to join along, you're going to need, uh, you could, well, you don't need to. I've got lots of watercolor. We can share watercolor. I'll bring the, the alcohol if you want to do that. I only have this book. Um, you can pick one of those up or you can just give it a try in your current faith journal to see if it'll work. And um, you just need to print off the printable if you want to use it. Or you can do what you wish and just continue on in whatever you were uh, journaling this week. If, you, uh, if you're working on something and you want to work on that this Sunday, that's great. So I think that's about it. Take care and God bless you all. Bye.